To enjoy your wood-burning stove, it has to work efficiently. The wood must be dry, there must be sufficient drawer in the chimney and it must be operated correctly. To check your stove, check that the secondary vents at the top and sides and the primary vents at the bottom can open and close. To do so, open the door, remove the ashtray and open the vent. You can also check that the tertiary air holes at the back are placed where they should be by inserting a screwdriver and checking that they are aligned with the hole at the back of the stove. Finally, you can check that the baffle plate, retained by screws, is in place at the top of the stove. To check that there is sufficient drawer in the chimney, open the door slightly and use a lighter to see if the flame is drawn towards the stove. If so, there is plenty of drawer. You can perform a test to check whether the wood you intend to burn is dry. Spread a little washing up liquid on one end of a log and blow on the other end. If a lot of bubbles appear, as shown here, the wood is really dry. Humidity in this instance is between 5 and 12 percent. If the wood is a little damper, around 17 to 18 percent humidity, there will be fewer bubbles. If you have any wood that is 20% or over, it will be hard to blow bubbles through it. If checking wood humidity using a wood moisture meter, it's important to split the wood, as it can seem dry on the outside, but be very damp inside. We have now checked that the chimney and the stove are in order, and that the wood is dry. We can get started on lighting up correctly. I've opened the primary air vent and checked that the secondary vent is open, and can now put wood inside. Large pieces in the bottom Lighters and smaller pieces on top I've put some more smaller pieces on the top Insert the Aduro key to hold the primary vent open during the lighting phase. After about 20 minutes, the stove is hot and there are sufficient flames inside for removal of the Aduro key. Initially, a little condensation can form on the inside of the door sometimes. We recommend opening the door a little. This will evaporate the condensation and the door can then be closed again. The flames are now sufficient for removal of the Aduro key. Lighting up is finished and you can close the primary vent. Now's the time to put more logs on. Open the door carefully a little and wait until the pressure has equalized. I can then lay the logs in and close the door again. Open the Adurotronic, which will supply more air to the combustion chamber for the first six or seven minutes. It will then reduce the airflow to the chamber to achieve perfect combustion. 
I'll now show you what happens when you use wood that is too damp. The wood I have here has a humidity content of 21 to 22 percent, which is a little higher than we recommend. When I activate the Adurotronic again, you can see that the flames take a lot longer to take hold and that combustion will be very different than at the start when we used dry wood. If you add damp wood, you will get smoke and soot. Smoke will come out of the door when you open it and the window will be covered in soot. You will also be able to hear the logs hissing when you open the door. There is nothing to be gained by burning wood that is too damp, as it simply uses up all the energy in drying out, instead of releasing it to warm the room. We hope that this video helps you to gain maximum enjoyment from your stove.